Oh, he got the throwback vibes on. Soulful. Soulful. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that was like, man, we had more thoughts with Quincy, okay. Pierre. Okay. Who was feeling that? And then... They thought it was over? Did we leave the game? This is a sample or an actual song? You know, fad back on DSPs. Okay. I guess making sure that you yeah, man. It's, uh, I just kind of wanted to set the tone. Okay, real vibe like that. Right, real vibey, man. I ain't want folks thinking we was gone. Okay. Never. I thought we was gone. You know, people out there like it was so much. You, oh, shit, you did? I miss myself. I miss y'all. <laughs> Pete gave it's up. On, it's only, in fact, I almost gave up. I'm like, damn, I guess that's it. Seven, like, six episodes and, and that's yeah, it. call it a season. He thought QP ski was one and done. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. I was like, damn. You know, with the two of y'all, y'all make QP, you know. Yeah. We need y'all. Can never be one and what done. What about you, though? We got to throw you in there. Huh? Nah, nah, nah. I'm on a uh, separate entity. Oh, my fault. My name not trendy enough. So you're not really here right now. Yeah, it's AI. You know, it's AI. AIA. Yeah. Yeah. The funny thing is, yeah. those are my initials. AIA, yeah. <laughs> he did the science. I did the science. Absolutely. Quick question for y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yo. All right. Now that the folks know that we didn't leave them or nothing yeah, like we're that. Still here. Is it our fault that our backs are big? Hear me out. The listener. Hear me out. I did a deep dive on some food this week. <laughs> nah, me, because now, nah, because people are quick to point the finger when it come to big backs and yeah. overweight and all of that stuff. Big back, big right? back, yeah. Uh-huh. They want to blame it on McDonald's, mm -hmm. right? They still doing that? Hell yeah. yeah. I yeah. still do that. Mm. I still blame McDonald's. What? Uh, wow. my no, you, you, wow. um, I forget the guy's name, but the guy who did supersize me, he unfortunately passed away. No, he RP. I, I, he I, did. I, I did yeah. see that. Yeah, that motherfucker did 50 days, big man. <sighs> Tough, but Tough. my fault. No, you're fine. You're fine. And it made me realize as I was consuming food this week, regular, the, regular, right? And most of these items come with nutritional facts, of course, mm -hmm. that I never gave a fuck about. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, never. yeah. But I just really honed in a little closely and realized everything has a serving size. Mm -hmm. So, is it our fault? <laughs> Absolutely, our fault. You gotta know math. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck math, nigga. I'm hungry. <laughs> nah. You ever, you ever did math, Q, when you was ready to eat? Uh, nah, <laughs> never. Yeah, I do it. Okay, sis, Mister Smart. Nah, clear out. He got clear the out. biggest back. Clear <laughs> out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, hey, Go ahead. Hey, hey, how do you, <laughs> how do you properly gauge a serving size? When I get a bag of cookies, yeah. I'm thinking the serving size is what's in the bag. <laughs> the, the, and and what's crazy is that's how they, that's how most food, it's kind of depicted. Ah, it's a slippery slope. So like, if I'm a if I'm a business, right, yeah, yeah. and I'm selling to a lot of people, you would want, you know, simple mathematics, you would want a lot of people to buy your product. Right. That way, you know what I mean? You make a lot more money. Unfortunately, the downside to that is there's a lot of um, conniving ways to do that. Right? Evil. A lot of evil and conniving evil ways. ways. <laughs> so, like, that's why, like, Certain companies like McDonald's, for example, okay. it, at one point they did not put any nutritional facts anywhere. You just bought it and then because it wasn't no it. nutrition in there, not at all, not one. <laughs> not one. <laughs> they gotta not, be at least one. one. <laughs> no, no. But, but Pia, tell the truth for him, man. Yeah. First off, we're gonna intro this in a few seconds. I promise y'all. Soon come. Soon come. I just had yeah. to talk to my brothers. Pia, real shit. Talk to me. How are you supposed to calculate the food and know what is uh, appropriate for each serving size? All right, so boom, right? I know they kind of list it, but I'm listening. Yeah. If you buy in something that has a nutritional facts behind it, yeah. it usually, it looks like, like you said, it looks like the whole, everything that, all the numbers on there is one serving. But on the top left, it says how many servings are in that container. So Q and I were just talking about the coconut water that I just bought. Yep. Um, it's got 14 grams of natural sugar, I think, right? And See, you think. If Keep you going. look at the top left, it says four servings per this bottle. So if you really think you're drinking 14 grams of sugar, you're really doing that times four. But like you saying, if I, if I don't care, <laughs> if I'm hungry. <laughs> seen the question marks go over your <laughs> <A> head. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, nah, I do realize like, yo, if, if I'm hungry, F all that. I'll just work it off, work, work it off after. I'm going to intro this pod. We're going to get back, back to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, A, as always. Uh, welcome back to another installation of We Have More Thoughts. We Have More Thoughts is a place where we spew a collection of thoughts that just don't get the proper time and attention that they should. 
Again, I'm A as always. I'm accompanied by First Class P. FCP, yo. What's up, P? It's funny you say that because I was yeah. always thinking like, during the whole rap beef, I yeah. was like, yo, what else is going on in the world that we're missing out on? So, <laughs> everything. Everything. Glad to be back. <laughs> That's why we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Everything. And of course, certainly, but not least, Q, Quincy. How we doing, brother? Back in the building. I'm glad to be home. Feels good to be home. <laughs> Feels good to be back. I yeah. promise. I ain't evict y'all or nothing like that. I, no, I was paying my rent and everything. <laughs> yeah, nah. God damn. Yeah, you was a good tenant. Good tenant. Yeah. Both of y'all was good tenants. I was a slumlord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. slumlord. We, we could blame Drake and Kendrick for that. Okay. Yeah, it was a lot going it on. It was a lot going on. Taking up the, the airwaves. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And our thoughts. <laughs> clouding our thoughts. Yeah, clouding our thoughts. Yeah. Now, back to the servant thing, right? Yeah. If I get a bag, let's really talk here. Okay. All right? Do it. You get a bag of chips, 40% is air. Where 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 is the space to where is the space to think about service size? That's a fact. That's a fact. Break it down. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're hungry, you just gotta eat the air. You gotta fill up on the air. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna you lie. You never ate air, bro. Let's share real quick. Okay. Let's yeah. share. Let's be honest. Now yeah. open up. Let's. I want you to take it back to a time. Okay. All right. Me and Q work with Roxanne and Shantae. She does this frequently. Okay. Yeah. She takes folks back to a time where things maybe weren't the best. Okay. You didn't have a lot of money in your pocket. For sure. Mm-hmm. You ain't got no money in your pocket. You can't buy food. Yeah. What do you settle with? I'll go first. Cold water <laughs> and go to bed. Just straight cold water? And go to bed. They yeah. say room temp is a little better for like the stomach and stuff like that. I was that, fucking though. on my organs. All right. <laughs> I no, would. Not respect. Yeah, I would. Hold up. Hmm? You ain't had nothing in the fridge but cold water? Syrup sandwiches? Mayonnaise? You never had a mayonnaise sandwich? Do you want to, do you want to cry about how bad it can get here? <laughs> Yo, you, give us your struggle you, meal. You trying to flash Give us your struggle you meal. You want to hear my struggle yeah. meal? You really want to hear it? Facts. All right, go. Chinese restaurant. <laughs> you go get you. He got money already. Look, he went and bought the struggle <laughs> meal. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, me at the house. Yeah. Oh, shit. Open nah, the cabinet. Do both. Do, do both. Yeah, I'm going to do both. And I want y'all to go too. Okay. Right. Chinese store. You go get you a little white rice. <laughs> I don't laugh. Are you laughing already? No color on the rice. Yeah. I'm just, serious. Just, just yeah, white rice. You ready? That's what you do. Know that Chinese barbecue sauce. Oh, that's different. Tastes a little different. It's okay. not like you, you know. Now, one time sweet. they told me it was fifty cent to add the barbecue sauce. That's, that's what you do. You, yeah, yeah you so you get you the little rice for fifty cent. You get uh, you the sauce for fifty cent. You got a dollar now, right? <laughs> <laughs> you go get you one little chicken wing. Okay. Have them chop it up. <laughs> make it look like you know. <laughs> look like some. Make it look like some okay. for the at home joint. Um, cornflakes and sugar. <laughs> no milk. <laughs> Dry. <laughs> Trying to stay away from that shit. Uh, <laughs> raw dog, the cornflakes. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yeah, that shit worse than mine? I'm about to cry for you. That's tough. That's I feel work. like P got a good one. That's tough. P, where you at with it? Uh, um, at the crib? Yeah. I did, uh, y- y'all ever hear a tomato paste? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, this nigga yeah. 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 I never heard of tomato paste. Yeah. I know I know people yeah. listening right now have heard of tomato paste. You know, no, 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 I've yeah. heard of it, but it's just like. All right, so boom, right? Like a gourmet shit. <laughs> this don't even sound if you bad. Got, if you got the toaster, you you put the you take the two slices of bread, you put it in the toaster, warm it up, right? Okay. If you don't got the toaster, that's fine. Yeah. Right. Take out the two slices, <laughs> open up the tomato paste can with the little Turner joint, whatever it's called, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you a nice plastic fork, right? Okay. Not or even got the metal. Not, not, not the metal. Fork. Metal was a luxury. For okay. Some, for some people, he's right, Q. He's right, right? Q. True. Okay. Um. Then you just take out the uh. You take the knife. Put it in the tomato paste and then spread that bad boy on the two on the two pieces of bread and you eat it. You good. Yo. You good. But bro. you know what's crazy? Panera bread got that right now for $13.99. <laughs> With this a soup and everything. This thing had a vegan chicken paw for yeah. me. No, no made ciabatta bread. No, the chicken was a luxury. Was, oh shit. Um, but I had a, a a similar Chinese food order. Okay. Um I didn't even get the white rice. <laughs> Skipped it. I just got two chicken wings for 50 cent each, a dollar. You chopped them up or not? Nah, I ate that joint. Whole? You ate them whole? Whole. You can't eat bone too? Whole. I eat the bone marrow, you know what I mean? No, for, you the, for the nutrition. No, you don't. Right? Nah, you for see. For the it. nutrition. No, you don't. And then you call it a day, go to sleep. You a real Haitian. You ain't like one of them new niggas. Nah, I like that and I support that. That's you why you got all the muscles and shit now. That's what's up. What is yeah. a real Haitian? You, you know, <laughs> you. You. <laughs> 
You just said it. You just said it. Lula, ça passe. Ça a fait qui ça? Yeah. You just made a bone marrow soup talking about what's a real Haitian. <laughs> right. Anyway, shout out to all my souls. Bone marrow fire. I'm not going to lie. I, I bet. Keep going. Anyway, Q, it can't get worse than that. What's your yeah. shit? <laughs> nah, in the crib, you see I'm a little light on, on the weight. So, yeah. ensure plus when it was nothing. Okay. When it was nothing. Okay. Because they say that's like a meal. They say to ensure plus is like a supplement. It's a meal you replacement. Yeah. yeah. It's a meal Thousand replacement. Calories. Exactly. I don't know what the serving size on the ensure yeah. plus is, but <laughs> ensure plus when I was in the crib. And then I'll, I'll keep it Chinese food because I feel okay. like we're on a good theme with yeah. the Chinese food. Yeah. Dollar fries, but you got to dress them up with mad unnecessary sauce, <laughs> ketchup, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, salt and pepper. Oh, you, oh, you, know so you had a spicy little toilet after that. <laughs> Yo, mush, mushy fried thing. Man. He was just, he was just there Mash making it a, up. A, 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 a dip concoction. Yeah, <laughs> the fries. Dollar, yeah, and, and and that joint used to get me through. Yeah, no drink, no bev, <laughs> straight fries, straight fries. Yeah, because the sauce almost served as a bev. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That, that's Damn. that's the struggle. Fries, the fries wasn't that's, dry. Nah, that's struggle. That's tough. You need to pray for you. You tonight. know, my mother be praying. We're <laughs> not nice. tonight, if possible. Nah, nah, but you good now, right? This is back in the day. No, nah, this is back in the day. All right, all right, bad. Bad. Yeah, you know, yeah. I just realized yeah, yeah. the Chinese food store been serving the hood, mm -hmm. keeping us alive <laughs> for mad long. Yeah. Yeah. That's fire. That's what's up. No. You want a salute? <laughs> you want a salute? That's fire. That's fire. Because <laughs> if you think about it, you never really see a Chinese food store mm -hmm. commercial. I heard someone say that the other right? day. No, that's a fact. And why the fuck they need a commercial? You can smell the shit from down the block. It's one of those. Like, you never seen a Lamborghini <laughs> commercial, right? Mm, Come okay. on. Nah, and if they do, that's how we know the world ending. Yeah, that means <laughs> they down. <laughs> you got to advertise Fast. that. You know what I am. I'm trying to tell you. It's funny we're talking about, you know, things that we were kind of forced to do because of monetary uh, uh, things and et cetera. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a theory. Talk to me. Oh. I have a theory. We Should I all, be nervous? I'm trying to think your, about- your theories can get outlandish. I, they do. <laughs> okay. They do. This has to do with social media, so I'm, I have to think about my two brothers to the right of me and okay. to okay. think about how they are on social media. Okay. I okay. think you guys might be in the clear as I'm thinking, all right? I have a theory that Instagram can make folks do anything. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely in the clear. Yeah. And I'm ready to clear out on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say one thing and I want you to, nigga, 40, yeah. I, need 40, I need a 40 point game from you after, <laughs> after this pass. Right? Oh, no problem. All right, cool. I'm gonna give you an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, for months, I've had an internal battle. Mm, he's fighting. Damn. Yeah. If whether I was a hater, okay, a party pooper, or maybe I just use social media a little differently. Okay. And I've landed on people are stupid. <laughs> That's a good landing spot. <laughs> <laughs> I land there often. I know. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. talk about that for yeah. It's true. Yeah. I landed right there because. You know, there are so many of these Instagram games True. that people subscribe to. Yeah. And when I seen you niggas, this was the, this was my last strike. I know Q gonna drop forty for me. Oh uh, PSA. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is this was the last strike for me. When I seen you niggas that follow four hundred IG models, oh, post where you went to middle school from and high school. That's when I knew we were being controlled. That's when you knew something was That's up. That's when I knew we were being controlled. It was a bigger play. Yeah. And then I'm like, damn, maybe I'm the hater. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm the one that's not trying to um, uh, recant all old times. And maybe <laughs> yeah. I don't want to think about my childhood. But then I'm like, why the fuck does my social media following needs to know <laughs> what fucking school I went to <laughs> when most of these folks didn't know me when I was a kid? Yeah. All right? Now, that's not the only thing. Okay. Q, take it away, man. Yeah, no, nah, this has really been pissing me off. You and see I'm, where I'm getting at? I, I'm glad you wanted to rile me up because you know what I'm saying? I, I need to get riled up. It's been a little minute. <laughs> it's been a while. Instagram is really making y'all do completely anything. And this is one of my favorite ones. It's when they go in the story and they say, post a time when you had white teeth. Bet everyone won't post it. It's like a, it's like a dare. It's like a dare. Like bet you won't post yourself in Mexico. I bet you won't do it. I see. That and one. then everybody proceeds to do, do it. it. It's yeah. just like yeah, yeah. who? Why What's are we doing on? this today? Who yeah. said today is the day to post ourselves in Mexico? And it's the bet you won't do it yeah, yeah. that I think it gets people like y'all. I have to show them that. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can't stop me. Yes, I will. <laughs> like if you say bet you won't do it after anything. You they almost, gonna do it. They gonna do it. Yeah, it's almost a right. You gotta do it. It's a right to pass it. So yeah. I, I feel like the same way. Like a, like maybe I'm the party pooper. Maybe I'm the one that doesn't want to have fun. Maybe it's us. You know, maybe I'm the Scrooge. <laughs> right. And Kendrick taught us it's okay to hate. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I hate I know. the way that you post. I hate. The, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate the way that you emoji, nigga. Yeah, so I'm gonna be open with my hate. Maybe it's a little hate, but anytime you say I bet you can't do it, 
It pisses me off. Post your high school pictures or bad luck for a year. Yeah. <laughs> and they do it. Yeah, yeah. I I knew we were screwed and being controlled um around the whole crate milk crate challenge thing. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Bro, I seen the most <laughs> Oh shit. It was bad. People coming up and just kicking the crate. And like they were still doing it. Wasn't that around the pandemic time? Oh, that was I, that, that was that, that was? time. And me and A, we actually have a yeah. favorite sound bite <laughs> from the, from, the, from a nigga almost dying on one of them crates. <laughs> yeah. Some old bum niggas. Yeah, shout out to Unk. <laughs> shout out to Unk. <laughs> Hope you're still alive. Unk. When I came down. When I came down. <laughs> but yeah, that yeah, was, was around pandemic time, yeah. which which is gonna lead us into some whole yeah. other shit yeah. that I, I really wanted to bring to y'all table on this. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I was sitting at home, and, and it's 2024, so we're we're a little bit <clears> removed from the pandemic. They say COVID is still out there. I haven't seen them. I just don't yeah, see them. You seen them? It's still happening. You Word? drink your coconut milk and all that. You still see COVID? <laughs> I, I say I got it. So, all, right. all them supplements. I it, yeah, <laughs> I seen it. Okay, okay. Nah, yeah. but I was thinking about like. Peak pandemic, like yeah. I'm talking about the pandemic in its prime. The pandemic was dropping 35, 8, and 8. On <laughs> yeah, when it was really hooping. Bugging, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there was this clip that came across my Explore page. It was around the time, the whole George Floyd thing. It was a lot of serious things going on, but it yeah. was like the most unserious thing was happening. Mm -hmm. I think it was like in Oakland or Cali, somewhere not here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the young brother went up to the police in full riot gear. That's when they had the shields yeah. and all that, the helmet joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And he just started crumping. <laughs> <laughs> hard though, the yeah, hard yeah. crump. And we know Chris Brown is the only person that still crumps. Yeah, yeah. Nobody else hits the crump for any other reason, right? Yeah. yeah. So we in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. It's trying times. Yeah. People don't know what mask. That's the other thing. People are like, yo, you got the wrong mask on. Like, I don't know. I don't got N95. N95. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, I'm sorry. Nobody just get a hazmat. Like. Yeah. So it really just showed me like, yo, we supposed to be out there protesting. Like this is a crazy yeah. time. People sick. People's dying. And you chose to go up to the <laughs> cop and riot gear. <laughs> and just start crumping. You know what's funny, Q? I think the pandemic yeah. was probably the one time, and again, we're relatively new to the world. <laughs> <laughs> fairly. Yeah, fairly. Fairly, fairly, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it was the one time <laughs> where people really couldn't predict what was going to happen next. No, bro, that's a every, right? every day was a movie. Bro. Yeah, which kind of forced yeah, people no to just idea. try shit. Yeah, yeah. You had no <laughs> Crash idea. Crash out every day. <laughs> every day. Wild times. Wild times. Wild times. I, and I get it, because I guess when like your back is against the wall for survival. Yeah. Yeah. But you niggas is still stupid for buying all that toilet paper. Yo, bro, yeah, what was the oh why was that the God. first thing? And that's that was my question. And you out couldn't go outside, so you could be like a little funky in the crib, technically, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like once again, you're not going to be around anybody. And you got anymore. running water, <laughs> so yeah. it's like once again, yeah, yeah. I thought I was a party pooper. I'm like toilet paper. <laughs> right. I know I shit, All right? But I'm home. But I'm, I'm not home. going outside. I'm not going. And the water my, still I works. Water still work. <laughs> I can rinse. Yeah. They never heard of a, a, a boudet. What they call that shit? What they call that shit? Um. Yeah, a, bidet, a, bidet, a, bidet, a bidet, a bidet, a bidet, yeah, 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 a bidet. bidet. Yeah. They ain't never heard of, heard of a bidet. I was about to say bourgeois. A bourgeois, yeah. yeah. I was about to get crazy. I was about to start speaking Haitian like you. <laughs> it's, it's Creole. Oh, my oh, fault. My yeah, nah, I'm not going to lie. Nah, 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 nah. That's real. Yeah. Because yeah. I hate when motherfuckers be like, you're speaking you're African. You're you are African? absolutely right. I apologize <laughs> for that. It is quail. And quail. Absolutely. And you are honorary Haitian anyway. I am. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yo, the other Through day? penetration. Wait, oh, yeah, hold on. Hmm? We're going mad fast my right fault, now. My fault. My, the pandemic, Yo, right? I've never yeah. heard. <laughs> See? Through pen All right, we're going to leave that alone. Yeah, um, no, I'll leave it. The other thing that was random that I found out that was selling out during the pandemic was yeah. all right, so one day I was like, Yo, I need new socks, right? So I went to um, my local uh, shoe store, a sneaker store. Yeah. Yo, bro, I looked everywhere. I asked the person in the front, yo, there were no socks in a five mile vicinity to where I was, bro. You like where? Why are socks? They, why are they buying all of the socks? Out of socks. What, what's your sock of choice, though? Do you like the the joints that come up high? You like the 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 crew, or you I, like I'm the a, head and ankle sock joint? <laughs> the crew. I'm a I'm a mid to high. Okay, okay, okay. but okay. like okay, I could do I could do an ankle sock. But did you ever do the hidden ankle sock, like the Dominican joint that go all the way in the sneaker that you can't <laughs> oh, see? Oh, facts. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You did that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm never going to nah, forgive you. Hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I Why was at a function. That? I needed to. What kind of function? I was at a function. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you trying to jam me yeah, about? Yeah, I, yeah, I was at a function. I had I some good feet on. You had a function? Nigga, nigga you sure. getting a massage? Yeah. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck you need them shit? I had the ankle yeah. showing. Nah, nah. Let them <laughs> off easy. Nobody knew he was at that function. This is the first time he's ever talking about that function. You know what I mean? I wasn't even really there, to be honest, but yeah. Oh, shit. That wasn't you. That's crazy. 
So maybe survival and Instagram are one of the only things left <laughs> that can make people do whatever. I'm Anything. still not off that Instagram shit. No, no, no. I'm still not off that. Yeah. I, I, I don't like the way y'all use y'all social media platforms, I'll be honest. Yeah. And I got another thing. I'm mm-hmm, sorry. Mm-hmm. Go cue. Like, if y'all see somebody put the caption up already, right, and you see it 10 times on your timeline, why do you think it's a good time to put up your post with that same caption? With the same caption. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because look, I'm tired of y'all <laughs> saying that y'all need to pop out and show niggas. <laughs> Like everybody can't like we can't and they're not Too even much saying Manani? but they're not even saying niggas they doing the ninja emoji because yeah. they don't want to say niggas oh. and everybody's doing the ninja emoji. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show nin- ninjas, ninjas, ninjas. <laughs> I don't even like people that say ninjas, ninjas instead of nigga. Yeah, I'm scared of y'all. That means y'all shouldn't be saying it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just telling you to not say the real words. Exactly. So. Like you're getting you're getting channeled to be like you know yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twenty five of those and y'all still gonna put the same cash. Like, Yo, it's washed. It's done. It's over. Done. Find yeah. a different way to say it. Yeah, y'all niggas saying. are stupid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah. And then in the pandemic, like people were seeing some money that they've never touched before in their lives. Yeah. Which they wasn't is- supposed to touch it. That's why they're getting locked up now. <laughs> <laughs> like there's there's a point in life where like something's too good to yeah. be true. You gotta know like I right, yeah. nah. It's, nah. It's, they it's, they like, thought it was a free 50 bands. Yeah. I'm kinda and they blew it on fireworks and crab legs. <laughs> Remember and, that that like from May to like August, and like, Yo, why are so many yeah. fireworks? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and everybody was going to uh, Miami. Stay in. Yep. Yeah, and letting go that crazy. bread to go to Miami. Extra hookah. Wow. Is am I wrong for thinking that? Uh, I feel like some of them people should have done should have did that. <laughs> like they needed it. They needed it. Think about it, QP. Okay. Think about it. It was some folks I never seen with fifty dollars in their pocket. No, nah, they came up renting Maybachs. <laughs> For a day, for it, for a month, or, or, and the and the T Rex joint, you know, really living life, yeah. and it makes you think about, oh wow, a lot of these people, they want to do things, yeah, no, they, they do. just don't have maybe the resources yeah. to implement some of these things. So I love seeing y'all crash out, crash out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was trying to dress it up. I I'm love trying to seeing y'all up. crash. Out. Yeah. Fuck your life up. I Dude, loved it. Dumb stuff. I loved it. Cause in the moment you're like, what could happen? I'm untouchable, nigga. I'm getting money. <laughs> Again, this is for a lot of folks were scamming. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, yeah. A lot a of lot. folks were scamming. But that was a weird time because you couldn't yeah. go out in the club. That's about to say, so I'm yeah, saying, yeah. you know what I'm mm, saying? So mm, it was mm. like it was like the Instagram live flex. You might pop up in Tory Lane's mm, a joint mm. with a bottle. <laughs> Yo, popping up in somebody live with a bottle ready to party. Yeah. <laughs> Quarantine radio Quarantine with a bottle radio. of Moet. Like, look what you spent your money on. Damn, sorry. But it was also yeah. a weird time because, like, everybody was cooped up, like you were saying. Yeah. Finally got some money. Right. It's like, you know, you almost feel untouchable. But, like, you were saying, Alex, you got to wind up, like, you wind up just doing dumb stuff. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, it should have it been invested to a certain extent. Because yeah. then you could always, like, make. Nah, but, niggas invested in bitches and liquor. Nah, it was... It's they like, invested. Like they said, that, that was the one time in the world you really didn't know what was coming next. So people was not thinking long term. True. Right. They like, yeah, I might catch this and just, you right. know what I mean? It might clock be over. out. I just yeah, clock out. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm doing it for now. Things <laughs> <laughs> are stupid. They was living for a But hey, if you want to live, live. <laughs> just make sure that. you live in the process. Live like, in the process. Yeah. I want everyone to live. I just don't want them to feel so controlled. Yeah. Like again, circling back to Instagram or even like the pandemic yeah. and how like new ways of living was kind of controlling people in a uh-huh. sense. That'd be my beef with people. Mm-hmm. I, I really do feel like I'm one of those people where I'm like, I don't like being manipulated. No, nah, not at all. Uh, okay. Like for I'm for instance, I'm one that I'll go in and change my algorithm <laughs> if they think they know me. Cool. Yeah. How you do that? What you be typing in? <laughs> what I be typing in? Yeah. All right, when I start seeing a lot of titties and ass, uh-huh. I just start liking Benzes and BMWs. Yeah, he said uh, cars. He said switch it up. Yeah, yeah. Switch it right on up around. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want you to think you got to step head on me. And then I think for a lot of people, it's become subconscious now. Mm-hmm. Like they don't even realize they being controlled. Or programmed. Yeah. Or programmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should not see what you look like in high school because Instagram told you it would be bad luck <laughs> if you didn't share it. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm getting at here? Or like yeah. tag three people in this post and then- if they tag you back, then you know it's gonna good is gonna come to you. Like you're about to piss me off. You're about to piss like, me what? off. They they fall for it every single time. Every single. But time. if my if it's my man's that tags me, I'll tag him back. Just out of love. Hey, nah, yeah. that's how they rope you in. <laughs> you got You got to stand tall. That's I'm called being, coercion. I'm being controlled. I'm that's being co- coerced. Are, yes, it's called coercion. Hey, for my friends, it's whatever. I guess. Right? Don't worry. That's why we're here to talk. Get these thoughts <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. You know, yeah. and 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 really develop. Yeah. I'm <laughs> just telling you right now, Pete. Don't tag me in nothing. Watch. <laughs> You'd be like, damn, this nigga don't fuck with me. No, I love this, you, brother. But this week, I'm going to tag y'all in everything. 
I won't be it. I'm a mute <laughs> yeah, your shit. Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah, what's funny too, speaking of the algorithm thing. Yeah, yeah. So I, I recently got into golf. So oh, yeah. Into golf. Yeah. And um, I made one purchase at Golf Galaxy. Right. And I'm seeing golf commercials now. They got you. It's all in like the random ads. We got them. Like, we got them. We got <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, all right. No, I but guess. like, I'm, I think golf is also a rite of passage. For the longest, I thought golf was just like, all right, that's what Tiger was in the, yeah. like, that ain't my business. Yeah. As I'm maturing, I'm getting older and I'm meeting people that are in different like tax brackets. Yeah. No, I like that. Yeah. I like that. For, he, he he was looking official too. He was looking real official. Yeah. I ain't going for him. He was getting this shit up. Did you meet anybody over there yet? Are they, they ain't, um, they ain't <clears> throwing <throat> no deal to you yet? You ain't making a million dollars yet? Nah, I, like <laughs> I don't have the finesse yet. And I'm learning that up top, I'm not as flexible as I am like- <laughs> Lower. That's what pause. she said. Like, I'm flexible down low. <laughs> yes, y'all. But like, yo, P, don't ever tell me anything about what you got going on down low. Pause. Yeah, because yeah. I hurdled in high school, and I was at fast. So, you did? Yeah. 400, 110, 55, 60, all that. Three hundred. Oh. You was hurdling? Yeah, I was a hurdler. I did. Your life been hard. Man. Nah, it's fun. Yeah, you like it's to try shit though. I like that. That's fun. Yeah. But yeah. I'm glad you're doing that though. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. You're gonna learn a lot. I didn't realize that a lot of um business deals oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. were iron. Yeah. Of course, you kind of heard it in passing. Right. But there's just uh they, they say there's a level of trust For real. Yep. out out there. Because if somebody could, amongst people. If somebody could cheat you on the course, then you know that's probably somebody you don't want to do engage in business with. Uh, I had um <clears throat> you ever had to like see what you're saying, okay. You ever been doing something and then yeah. you weren't really the best at it? Yep. And then yeah. somebody that you know, is in the same situation as you. That's a little bit better. Yeah, like, yeah. Played you. They never played me, but <laughs> so <laughs> I'll explain what happened. Right. So I'm, 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 uh, I'm playing nine, a nine, uh, nine holes. Right. Okay. I'm on the course playing nine holes, and um, we're there's this guy. I think our tee time was like twelve forty five. There was another guy who wasn't a part of our group. Four and tee people, time is the start of golf. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you got well, well, say that shit. The yeah. tee time is the start of your turn to start. Either the uh, nine hole or eighteen. Right? Got you. Okay. Got you. Um, <clears throat> so there's three people that I know. One guy, the two other people that I know. Sorry, I'm the third, and there was a guy. He was definitely the more seasoned pro. Right. So we keep um, we keep hitting and stuff like that. It comes to a point where the first um, I was about to say at bat the the first hole that I or the first time that I tried to drive shanked it went left right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just there like, damn, I'm, I'm embarrassed. He was looking around like, did anybody yeah. see that? Facts. And I'm thinking like, he's like, damn, <laughs> I got these rookies here. All right, this is going to be a slow day. But we start going. <laughs> now, in golf, uh, again, I'm still a rookie, so I'm still kind of like learning the terms. Yeah, it's gradual. <clears throat> you, got, you got three different, I think they call it tees that you could, um, I guess, um, drive off of. Right. They have no points or um, the, the three different tees. Is, so one's closer, which is usually yellow. There's a white one, which is like the medium one. And mm-hmm. then there's a black one. And um, the more pros go to the black one because it's further. It's just more like a, you know, I could do this kind of thing. Yeah, a little <laughs> flex. Right. And usually women go towards the uh, yellow one. So it gets down to like, a, like an hour into the thing. He sees how we're hitting. And then he was like, yo, I think y'all will have more fun if you hit the yellow. And I'm just like. Wow. Damn, so yeah. you saying I suck without telling yeah. me I suck. Low hey, key I, I felt the type of way. <laughs> no, low key. And you know me, all it takes is just if you make me competitive, uh, you'll get there. Yeah. Listen. So there's yeah. also a hierarchy in golf. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, you a bum, nigga. Get nice. Nah, I'm trash. Yeah. I'm like trash. in basketball terms, yeah. that's like Pete kept shooting a three, and they're like, yo, just <laughs> maybe if you moved into the dotted and shoot from here. <laughs> nah, he said, yo, maybe you take come some do steps. a layup. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yo, lay this yeah, up real quick. You have more fun if, yeah. you, if you stood right, right under the basket back. and did it like that. Lay yeah. up off the backboard. Yeah. Yeah. Not just the little finger not, roll not, not, not above the, the rim. Yeah, no, 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 no. They want you with the help. No water. The... Nah, they violated you. <laughs> You're gradually going to get better. That was the most polite yeah. way I've ever been violated before, but I still felt the type of way. I was like, damn. damn. But that's what you need. Like you said, sometimes you need that push. Sometimes you need to feel like you that foreign person or you, yeah. you don't yeah. belong there and then you're like, all right, wait till next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to really show you something. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to come back on my shit. <laughs> wow. Don't play me. You, wow. you guys brought up basketball. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'm glad you guys did that because basketball is expanding. Yeah. Uh, as we know. Mm-hmm. And the WNBA is expanding. Yes, it is. I personally am very excited about this. Mm. Not for reasons that you guys think. <laughs> he about to give. Uh, hey, listen, Alex about to get flued out. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. You about to see Alex on the sidelines of the WNBA game. You know why he's there. Cameron, 
<laughs> oh. Angel Reese. Uh-huh. Caitlin, I know you got a man. You could take a side. <laughs> You, you can eat you eat food with sides, right? Yeah, this guy is nice. He's cooking. I am so happy that the WNBA is propelling to where it's being propelled at, right? Just yes, to I see men talk about the WNBA, yeah. the way they talk about the NBA. Yeah, beautiful. That's amazing, dog. Yeah. My thing is though, like <laughs> Yeah, because y'all know he started what scratching. Yeah, he's about to get to some to complete something. bullshit right now. <laughs> no. Watch this. <laughs> we can agree that. Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, yeah. had a lot to do with the development of where the WNBA is it today, right? Hell yeah. yeah. They took it to another yeah. level for sure. Yeah. Right. So I want to ask you two. Mm -hmm. If you guys are WNBA players on other teams versing them, mm -hmm. is, is it a level of hatred for them or appreciation? I like you go first. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely hating. I want to start off with pure hate. You hating? <laughs> Yeah, because I've been doing this for a minute, uh -huh. and I feel like, in a sense, why wasn't I good enough to get us here? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm coming in with hate, and I want to show y'all, like, I think Diana Taurasi told Caitlin Clark, like, yo, it's not going to be easy. Like, when you get in the league, you're going to see it's going to be different. You're not yeah. just going to come yeah. in here, start pulling threes, and it's just going to be light. Like, yeah. it's going to be different. The defense is more physical. These are grown women, yeah. and we've been doing this. So even though I couldn't take the, take the game to a different level financially like they did and mm. marketability and all that, yeah. we still got to come on the court and play. So. I'm going to show you like, all right, you did all this cute stuff for the league and now we got chartered flights and all that and I'm appreciative, but I'm going to still mm. bust your ass on the court. All right, and now, that's coming from a little hate. I'm glad you said that. Now, let's stay there. Yeah. Let's say... Talk to me. Deanna Taurasi <laughs> and them yeah. really start strapping them up. Yeah. Do the chartered flights leave? <laughs> like, this, 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 this they, is, this they is, hurting themselves? I'm, I'm, hey, I'm not saying it. Yeah. Yeah. I saw LeBron say, leave Caitlin Clark alone. Yeah, I yeah. felt like I was watching football, bro. The way they was, a, they was doing her on the court, I was like, damn. Like, Yeah, I think there has to be competitive balance. Like, You don't want to sure. see Caitlin Clark just come in and cook, right? You want that little rookie curve they got to go through, right? Yeah. But like A is saying, like, you kind of going to start fucking up the money. If Caitlin <laughs> yeah. Clark come in and she is trash, yeah. if Angel Reese come in and she's not cooking, yeah. like, why are we giving y'all these flights? Y'all yeah. can keep taking the bus because like nobody <laughs> wants to turn on the WNBA and watch y'all get cooked yeah. every M time. Mind you, players like... Oh, my, no, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, no, I, I was just going to say... Yeah. <clears throat> So for me, the balance between Angel, Angel Reese's, um, I guess her aura yeah. versus Caitlin Clark. Clay, Caitlin Clark, they're both competitive yep. and they're both like strong and what they, you know, what they do. Right. But Angel Reese is a little bit more outwardly. She's a little bit more outward with it. Yeah. And Caitlin Clark is more of like a silent killer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when Angel Reese is like that brash and, you know, just not really reserved in that regard when it comes to like, yo, like. Her her mentality, mm -hmm. I like it. I love it. You know what I mean? I, like I it. love it. And Angel Reed, um, not Angel, and um, Caitlin. Caitlin is, you know, I like the way she's confident. But like, listen, at the end of the day, she kind of, I can't say unfortunately, just things work out different ways, and like, yeah. it's all for the betterment of the WNBA. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. she's really, because at this point, part of the reason why there's so many eyes on it. I want to see them at ten million a year. Yeah. No, nah, this shit. Right? Yeah. I want to. Yeah, I want to see my like million something a year. that, that yeah. I noticed. Like even before we came in today, I, I just threw on ESPN and the game was about to start. And right. they do like the walking now for the WNBA. You mm -hmm. know how you see the NBA game at night and you get to see yeah. what Dame Lillard came in wearing, what Kuzma, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Westbrook, yeah. mm -hmm. the guys that kind of try and do the fashion thing when they walk through. Yeah, yeah. Now they're showing the females walking. Like Angel Reese is like posing for photos before the game, and I love that. Like, yeah. women should be sexy, and that's the other thing. Like, just because they're athletes, they can still be sexy, right? This ain't the WNBA yeah. I knew. <laughs> it's different. It's different. What you seeing out there? Hmm? What you seeing? A whole lot of short skirts. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice leg. Let me tell you, I don't know what's going on. I'm stumbling mm -hmm. on my words because I'm so impressed. Take your okay. time. Um, they looking like the Jones out of Starlet. Some of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Some of them is looking like. IG pressure. Okay. Right? And, you know, to see superstars like Aja Wilson, who, who, for, right? She cooks. cooks. Right? Yeah, for yeah. those of you that don't A know, bucket. she's she's won a WNBA championship yeah, with yeah. the Aces in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she to, for, to see her average close to 30 points, 10 rebounds, and there wasn't this immersive shift in fan base to be like, man, she's so ill. It had to take you know, again, an Angel Reese or Caitlin Clark, because I do like combining the both of them with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, of course, maybe more Caitlin Clark because of her shooting. Yeah. Yep. But we saw with Steph Curry change how Steph Curry and that style of play changed, changed the changed NBA. Everything. That's a good point. With that style. Yeah. So for me, I'm like, all right, cool. She defended me. 
Well, here's the other thing to that, A. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Women can't really dunk. Right, that's so cool. that's, that's not. That's I've seen not that's, that's, yeah. I'm talking about like really young. Like, I'm talking about some crazy shit, okay. like through the legs, windmill. They <laughs> can dunk. Some, they can, some okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, like <laughs> their style of play, something else has to attract us to the style gotcha. of play, right? Because gotcha. you, they are athletic, but you're not going to see a woman windmill go between the legs right. and yam it, right? Right, 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 right? So if you have a superior shooting, that's that's what I also liked with the All Star mm. Weekend that they did this year. Yeah, we saw a three point contest. Uh, with Sabrina and Steph, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And now it's like, oh shit, women can shoot just as good as the men. Just as well. You're not going to say that when it comes to Duncan, but you have yeah. to find that middle point. It's like, what can a woman do that's equally on a skill level as a man? And shooting is one of those things that has now become universal, like you said, because mm -hmm. of Steph, right. men can do it. Women can do it. You don't have to be tall. You can be short. You don't have to be strong. You can be skinny. Anybody can find that skill of shooting. And I think that helped put the game at another level. Yeah, that's I, a great I agree point. with that. I agree with that. That's a great point. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I like seeing... A big, a big little booty running up and down the court. My fault, y'all. My fault. My, I'm a supporter. I'm a fan. I, listen, I want y'all to know I had WNBA gear before Angel Reese and Kayla Clark. Okay? You I'm just a, didn't say it. I, I was saying it. It just wasn't being heard. Okay. <laughs> you feel me? Right, but, but mm -hmm. Right before we get off this, though, you, yeah. you, you'll mm -hmm. get flued out and like sit courtside. And... What? That That's why us men really need to support them. We we saw what the NBA men did with with they baddies, right? Okay. Yeah. Imagine what they gonna do with us. Mm, okay. We gonna be front row. Have a little bearded brother right there. I, 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 I'm the gonna court. be right there, supportive, running down her stats, watching her matchup, yeah. telling her what she should pay attention <laughs> to, coaching her up. Yup, coaching her up. Okay. And then after she gonna take me out to dinner. Mm. Mm. The world is changing. I'm it's trying to tell you, right everybody, in front of our eyes. and we and it's our job to keep up with this shit. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I just I saw a lot of people getting hard on LeBron. Like, oh, LeBron. I don't know. I don't even remember. Q, you remember what he said about Caitlin Clark? Uh, I think he was just talking about how yeah. she she really put the game in another level. But they, a lot of people. Right. The flip side to that was is like, yo, why are you not saying that about Andrew Reese? Like, Andrew mm. Reese should be getting the same type of credit. Got you. So it's like you can't win sometimes. Can't win. That's the other thing. You have to be very careful when you talk about anything involving women. Like right. You got, <laughs> I love all women that are in the WNBA, yeah, but there right. are some that bring it to another level. So I think LeBron caught heat for that, but. I'm cool with change. You know, I, it has to happen. You know, I don't, maybe, maybe some people have issue with maybe how ch uh, change is administered mm -hmm. and things of that nature. But for me, I'm like, bro, let's, let's get this thing to as big as it can get. It's 2024. Yeah, they're just seeing chartered flights, and I heard just it's not now. even all teams. It's yet. not even, like, they're rolling it out over a period of time, yeah. so it's not something that is just like they're doing it gradually over the next couple yeah. seasons. Imagine going to the airport right now, and seeing LeBron James and and, and, and Rui Hachimura in there <laughs> on a direct flight, and they're not in first class; they're taking coach. Imagine. I mean, <laughs> Bron and the Lakers did take the the train. When they came to New York, so yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Nah, that's because too much congestion out here. Okay, that's because yeah. of the congestion. They was trying to be uh, yeah. efficient, trying to do something. And and too, to that point, <laughs> if I'm a brand, yeah, you know, brands for the most part, I believe, would always want to be on the right side of history. Yep. Yeah. So the fact that they're now starting to come into like, hey, like let's put money behind you know women's sports and women's basketball. Yeah. It kind of shows you like, dang, like why weren't y'all doing this before? Right. But at the same time, I guess it's never a bad time to get into it. So. Yeah. And I guess um, corporations just understand that it's maybe easier to support something that has more eyes on it. Mm -hmm. True, right? it comes. You know, it comes down to that bottom thing, which is the dollar. Yeah. No, that bottom you know dollar. So yeah. They weren't. They like for Caitlin Clark's first game, they had to move to a different arena because mm -hmm. they wanted mm -hmm. more attendance, the capacity, right? So yeah, yeah. before it was to a point, WNBA games weren't selling out, right? Yeah. There wasn't. It's supply and demand. Seats. So once the companies see that there's a demand for this, all right, we're yeah. gonna throw our money yeah. in there. Throw our money in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I go. All right. Well, regardless, I'm going to enjoy. Uh, watching WNBA basketball. I'm excited. I'm going to say this though, y'all. Ladies, I'm not saying don't guard her. I'm just saying. Let's give a little space sometimes. Sag, sag off a little. <laughs> yeah. when, you know, if y'all. She got range though. Like. Hey. She, nah, but let her get her 30, but your team still wins. There you go. Okay. Q just said it perfectly. There's space so no, for everybody. No hard to fouls. Win. That was beautifully said. No, no hard, hard fouls. fouls. No, no hard fouls. No. I'm. Nah, show her you, you you not pussy. Yeah, you know like, what I'm saying? But like You gotta be competitive. You gotta be competitive. Nah, they they every, almost killed Angel Reese like a couple weeks ago. Did y'all see I that? I did they, see they that. They dragged her down I to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she popped did. back up there. Yeah, she caught back up. I like she yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every sport needs an agitator. Yes. That's why you need a Draymond. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Every sport needs one of those. Every yeah. team needs one of those. Like an agitator to just kind of piss somebody off. Like ruffle ruffle feathers or something. It's ruffle feathers. Spark it up. Yeah, spark it up. I understand that. So I'm gonna just say that, man. Just sag off a little. 
You look at the scoreboard, see if you up or not. Yeah, she could get that three off. It's, not, get, it's not gonna hurt anybody. I'm just, I'm just saying. But listen, if she cooking you, <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. Do what you like, gotta do. Don't get cooked. <laughs> Give her a little shoulder. Yeah, a little nudge. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck out of here. She fucking you up. Do what you got to do. Be I ain't want. I don't want to see nobody go out bad. Well, yeah. That just reminded me. So when I was playing football in high school, um, you know, we always. Some, yo, if you play sports, you always get off the high school stories. You know what I mean? Yeah, always. Especially you if you make it pro. Always. I used to hurdle. I used to hum. <laughs> I used to hurdle. I, I did win a track. 50 million, million 200 million, million 500 million. I didn't make it pro, so I got I to gotta, I gotta talk about the glory days. But we Absolutely. used to always. You was a running back, right? Yeah, yeah. Running yeah. back slash slot, so receiver. So Ooh, dual, 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 dual threat. Dual threat. You know what I mean? Because when you're athletic, you yeah. know what I mean? You just really wind up doing a lot of you things. You just do everything. Uh, real quick, who was your comparisons like? Who am I thinking of? So I'm turn on Madden right now. Who are you? Uh, I can give you some names. Yeah, no, I'm down. Cool. Um, I'm here. Like currently in the league, right now, At all time. Devon Bess. Ooh. Okay. Uh, out of out of uh, Miami, you might, you... out of a uh, University of Hawaii. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I was like right. a Reggie Bush. You know what I mean? Really? In my mind, look how he started dressing it up. Yeah, I was kind of like, I don't know if you ever was, heard of him, but um, Adrian Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Adrian, 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 a dog. He was a dog. Um, but now I was probably like a. Wait, that nigga said I was Reggie Bush. Because <laughs> I was quick. Uh, okay, yeah, I was yeah, quick. it up and then yeah. said kind of like I ran. I ran a four three like Reggie. I was about to say nah, break nah, down nah. why they thought you was like Reggie. Nah, I was quick. I was yeah. elusive. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, all right. I had wheels and all that. All right, fine. I was skinny, but at the same time, yeah. like you can kind of get it off. I hit hard. Got you. You know what I mean? Got you. Um, what was that? Why am I telling you this? Oh, no, you so it was a football yeah, story. Football story. When we were um when we would always go up with the captains, yeah, um, during the coin toss, yeah, we wouldn't say good luck to anybody else from the other team. I would say it would be safe. <laughs> that's a little mind so, game. This nigga was a threat. Yeah. That's so, like when they tell you stay dangerous. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> stay because uh, I was gonna be dangerous. <laughs> oh, we know that. So you better stay safe. <laughs> but like just to compare Stupid. that to like when you, you know. Women yeah. now watching women basketball, it kind of feels like that. There's a lot more. Yeah, it feels that like there's a lot more competitive spirit. Right, the competitiveness is yeah, definitely yeah. Ooh, on another that level. Is a good, that is a good point right there. I, I love that point. And I'm sure for them, they're realizing how many eyes are being watched now. For sure. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, okay, people are really, really watching yeah. our shit now. Yeah. So even if I wasn't as competitive before, let me take it up a notch. Right. Got right? you. Let and me kind of show them where I could take it. Yeah. And the commentators will talk about you. <laughs> oh, for sure. So they, they're going to be on these uh, sports shows. So yeah. got to go out there and. All right. Well, yeah. we're going to keep supporting. Yeah. Uh, I introduced this podcast with saying I feel like we're being controlled a little bit. Yeah. I do kind of want to stay there a little bit. And I feel like smartphones, mm -hmm. I really do love doing the show with y'all. This is a quick sidebar. Facts. Like, I promise y'all, I'll be in the middle of my week, like, <laughs> just with a collection of random ass thoughts. Yeah, same. That's what same. we're here for. And, and I just don't know where to, say, where to say I'm at, who to talk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where I'm at with it. Uh -huh. I, I feel like um, smartphones have given us a skewed uh, depiction of access and communication. Oh, tell me more. <sighs> 80s and the 90s. Okay. It's a good time from what I hear. Yeah. 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 Beepers. Yeah. Beepers. Had beepers. Pay phone. Pay, pay, phones. No pay phones. phones. Absolutely. Right. Dial up. There were means of communication. Yeah. Right. But even, even when you think about a beeper, right, mm -hmm. it's pretty calm. It's called, they're yeah. saying, yo, call me. Yeah. <laughs> right? But you, they still really can't get you. Yeah. <laughs> they really can't, you can't make a phone call mm -hmm. on it. Like, oh, I didn't feel it buzz. I didn't even see yeah. that you was trying You don't know what they want or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I even remember recall watching movies and TV shows of just people looking at the beeper and just putting it right back. Yeah. 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 As to where, like, all right, cool. They got a message. They, uh -huh. they digested it. Yep. And all right, cool. I'm on to the next. Yeah. With smartphones, because people know that they can text you anytime, they can call you anytime. Mm -hmm. They can email you anytime. They can DM you anytime. Mm -hmm. Access and communication has gradually changed over the years. For sure. Right? Yes. Like when, I, I remember, I'll, shit, I'll speak personally. Mm -hmm. I remember before smartphones, I, I used the Boost Mobile. Okay. Where you at? I used to be, used to chirp. Be, chirp, I was just chirping niggas, keep being in her like, where you at? Be on the bike. I'm over there. I'm coming. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Which phone, which mm -hmm. was your first? The, the, the gray Boost Mobile. What's that, 7.30? Oh, shit. That boy Q good. Yeah. I think that's what it was. 7.30, yeah. P? Okay. That's I think I had, it was I had, I had all of them. I had the 95. So I, I, never, Ooh, I had the next. I had the next yeah, yeah. What else? Okay. <laughs> what you have? I had the 7.30. Yeah, the 7.30. 7 but I, I was a little thought. I had to like the, the see-through one. With the, <laughs> remember you could do the light-up antenna? Yeah. I was a nasty nigga. Oh, you was a hoe. <laughs> nasty. You I, a hoe. My 95. My I-95. My, my um, 
I, the I ninety five, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I'm because I'm New York. I ninety five, right? Yeah, I, yeah. Think about but my I ninety five was literally just like that, just like yeah, that. Yeah. Which was the joint that had the button that you that it made it flip open? Oh remember that my one? god, I, I like forgot that, 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 that might have been in the eights. But yeah, that might have been in the eights. Oh, the eight thirty. Yeah, Ooh. that joint had the side button yeah, that flipped yeah, open, man. Black violently. and blue. Facts. Yep. Wow, we we miss our childhood or something. <laughs> we were calling that was just a little, just a little <laughs> phone talk. <laughs> <laughs> And as I as I as I um flashback to those moments, yeah. they were just so peaceful because your loved ones, the people you loved, there was the love wasn't lost. No. Whether whether that be you communicating through a ba- a pager mm-hmm. or you guys not communicating at all. Yeah. Facts. And I feel like back then people really cherished when they spoke to people facts. or how they spoke with them. Ah, you see yeah. what I'm getting at? Yeah. Now these days. And me, Pierre, we, me and Pierre go back and forth. Like this, this guy's, I oh man, Q, I, I got stories from Stressing bro. you out? <laughs> this <Bruh>. guy. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I love Pierre, yo. Yo, this guy, Alex. Pierre works a lot. Yeah. And my, I, he's so blessed to work a lot, though. I don't even want to make a joke <laughs> of that because I'm very impressed with what Pierre does. You guys don't know, Pierre work, has done work for the NFL. Yeah. Everybody. He's probably- And does it well. And does yeah. it very well. Appreciate Pierre. that. Try right. to. For real shit. And he's yeah. probably done work with some of your favorite athletes, mm-hmm. uh, celebrities, etc. Mm-hmm. So I understand sometimes when I try to reach out to him or this and that, he might be on the shoot. He might be- on, Or he you, might be on the plane. He might be on the plane. I, I, just want, I just want you to know this is him building up his, his, his excuse- <laughs> My defense. To what he about to say. Continue. <laughs> he's building the case. He's dressing it up. Continue. I'm, I'm good. doing good. That boy good. I'm doing you good. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm doing, they should you hire good. me, right? You good. <laughs> <laughs> so- you know, again, I'm granting my brother grace. Mm-hmm. You got to. <laughs> you know, because you never can assume what Pierre is up to. Yeah. Could be going and through TSA. You got to put your phone in the bin. Never know. Yeah. Never know. Uh, Q, we've talked about this. Yeah. Actually, Pierre, we're talking about this too. Yeah. As we're getting older, it's, it's, we love our parents. We love uh, the people above us, mm-hmm. right? Our matriarchs, our patriarchs, et cetera. Mm-hmm. As you get older, you kind of start to feel like you're parenting them a little bit. Oh, yeah. you definitely got to be right? a parent. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you're kind of grateful that you're the person to do it, though. For no, sure. facts. Right? Facts. Yeah. You start thinking about some of these scenarios and situations, oh and you're like, God. oh, my God, I don't know if other younger people would deal with these yeah. older people in my life yeah. as uh, genuinely as I would. Got to have patience. Mm. Got to have patience, right? And you trust yourself more than you could rely on anybody else. hundred grand. Yeah. Like like uh, when uh, like th- those home house aides. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Family members are now able to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Facts. Real shit and, and get and paid, get paid for it, right? and get paid for it through the government, etc. Uh-huh. So shit like that is fine to me. So, so a lot of the times Pierre Q hits me when I'm when I'm parenting. Uh, in, the, in the middle of you, uh... well, he's parenting. So, okay, okay. Well, I'm parenting. You see the setup, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. right? Might be at my music studio in Queens. Okay. Might be at work with Q. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And because Pierre don't sleep, <laughs> he'll try to hit you back at four in the morning. <laughs> And then if I don't respond back, okay. oh, you didn't, you didn't hit me back. This nigga hates me. And I'll be, like, I'll be like, damn, I Bro. love Pusha P. You feel me? But went to the hate. this, <laughs> what you say, Q? He went to the hate. See? <laughs> Yo. But Extreme. I don't even want to like combine this topic to you. Yeah. It's just an example I had in my mind because, mm-hmm. and I ain't going to lie, I'm going to tell you what I told one of my old joints back in the day. Uh, I was like... Back in the 80s. <laughs> starting off, starting off with 80s. straight bullshit. <laughs> what? Is it bullshit? Complete. No ever start nothing with me, yo. Back in. <laughs> That's what Shorty said, too. She was like, it's 2027. Right. What are you talking about? I was like, yo, you dead ass right, the though. That's equivalent of see what had happened. See what had happened yeah. was. I was like, you right, but hear me out. <laughs> you know, back in the 80s and 90s, you know, mm-hmm. people would see their loved ones or they would speak maybe at the household in the mm-hmm. morning. And there wouldn't be any means of communication Facts. throughout the day. Oh, wow. But at the end of the night or the next day or the next time y'all saw each other, there was no love loss. Yeah. Wow. Right? Like, the per- like there was no beef. There was Cooking. no. And that's why I'm starting to realize. I'm like, damn, maybe it's the smartphones that's giving us this entitled it is. aspect. Bro. Of, yeah. Yeah. I you think... just explained. My fault. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I think people are too, like. The fact that we are so easy to access, like you said, yo, P can hit you at four in the morning. Yeah. Right? It's just yeah, like, yeah. he can see you. He can FaceTime you and literally see you like <laughs> my, sleep. My whole face. Yeah, like, <laughs> if, if we decided to. But Peep, if yeah. you don't even answer, he can leave you a FaceTime message. Oh, like, it's getting about. sicker with, the, yeah. like, they're forcing the communication yeah. on you, right? Yeah. As opposed to, like you said, in the 80s and 90s, 
It didn't feel forced. Like yeah. if I missed your beep, if I missed your phone call, mm -hmm. a lot of people didn't even have cell phones. So it was just like, yo, yeah. I see you when I see you. I'm just out living yeah. my life right now. And I think that's something that's missing right now. And <laughs> it, it's funny that you guys say that because that that's literally my parents' relationship, my mom and my dad's relationship. Um, hmm. They have phones, but they didn't grow up with, you know, with it like that. And like just, right. just, just the influx of communication or the accessibility of communication. So my dad would go to work. My mom would go to work. Um, days that my mom would be home from work, my mm -hmm. dad would go to work. They come home, kiss, talk for a little bit. Then my then they go back to work. They had two full time jobs. Wow. And then uh, when they came back at night, you know, there was still good communication. Like Alex, like you said, no love loss. Like no love nowadays? loss. Nowadays, uh, nowadays you missed that text because you was yo, yeah, you be at God. work missing the text. That's what I be saying, son. Like, like yo, know, I'm working. Like, I be like yo, shorty. <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> Like I wasn't ignoring you, mom. Yeah. I was literally just like I'm, I, like I'm, I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> my fault. I didn't get to hit you back right away. Like, I think the worst part for me is they're connecting how I emotionally feel about people uh, with the smart device. Yeah. And for me personally, I don't think there's any connection. Yeah. I got something else for you. Let me let me hear, Pete. I mean, Q. What if I'm just not ready to communicate right now? So I saw your call. I mm. saw your message, right? Maybe I did want to go on Instagram and just bullshit a little bit. Watch it. Maybe I did want to watch your story or just watch stories in general. I didn't know your story was going to come up next. I'm just, right. I'm in a mental space right now. I don't feel like communicating. You don't know what just happened to me. Yeah. yeah. Right? Maybe yeah. I don't want to give you my bad vibes. I just need to, yo, mm. go on the gram, whatever. And they take that personal. Yo, you watched my story, but you didn't text <laughs> yo, me back. Oh, damn. I saw you posted. <laughs> yeah. So, yo. yo, maybe I was just in a space right now. I didn't feel like <sighs> returning a phone call, returning a text. Maybe I just needed to sit in the park or just, you know what I'm saying? Now you talking just go right through my facts. phone. I'm you just talking. cool. Q, you right this because... is my cool down <laughs> and it's like, like how that, do i explain cool that to someone without sounding like a villain yeah exactly right that, like you kind of tell someone uh -huh. hey i just need some time for myself they internalize it like it has something to do with them yeah bro. that was gonna be my question because like i don't think there's anything wrong with that but how mm -hmm. do you express it to the point where it's on like because where the other person would understand it because i've always believed that like the person giving the information mm -hmm. It's it's their duty to do due diligence to express it in a way that the other person can understand. Mm. I, I like, think I you... think that is important. I think communication is important with yeah. that. Like yeah, this yeah. whole thing is about communication, but right. whoever you're dealing with, whether it's a partner, for me, sometimes a lot it's my it's my mom. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I'm an only child, so if I miss a couple phone calls or whatever, Same. she might go into panic mode and I just have to explain to her, like, yo, mom, I'm good. Like I was doing this, I was doing that, I might have been taking a nap. Like it's not nothing personal but i think you have to communicate that in a way like yo if this doesn't happen if this chain of events does not happen and you see me watch your story or if you see i'm good <laughs> yeah. everything is good right it's, all right. it's I okay <laughs> just give me a little time i always right. don't I always get back to you then you got to remind yeah. them yeah. Hey, then I call you back. Though. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get back to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. just give me some time. Right. Alex, don't get back to you. Though, that's yeah, a lie. You know it's a lie. That's, that's another crazy. story for another that's a, day. Yo, yeah, keep I on feel listening. Feel, I feel, I feel, P, I feel you that. gonna lie to the folks up here? We trying to communicate and be accessible nah, to with each other yeah. right now. You gonna lie? Yeah, get back to you, P. It happens. He lying. It happens. Nigga lying. <laughs> now the topic about you. Now you switching on. Now it's about you. Now fuck it. And and don't get me wrong though, right? Because I'll play devil's advocate a little bit, even though I'm God's child. <laughs> I've been trying to remix that shit. Every yeah. time I hear devil's advocate, yeah, I go, I don't yeah. want to be an advocate for the devil. <laughs> no, I think Abe going through something. He, he called me his brother in Christ today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know oh, what's oh, going oh, on. Oh, first sight. This nigga Episcopalian. <laughs> what is that shit called? I don't know what he doing. Uh, man. Uh, Alex is Kojic. Yeah, Kojic, I don't know Kojic. what's going on. <laughs> everything, nigga. Pentecostal, <laughs> everything. Catholic, Celestial not, Church of not, Christ, I'm, everything. He's a Celestial Church yeah, of Christ. I'm, I'm more that. Scientology. I'm Scientology. I'm more that. Respect. You know what I'm saying? But, um, fuck, what was I just saying? I was, um... Q said... Well, before the brother in Christ thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the I got Christ. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get it, though. <clears throat> like, technology is here to help us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So and I don't want to act as if... Mm, uh, and okay. In some cases, make us stupid. Yeah. yeah. But That's the subconscious part of what we were talking about with IG, right? And kind of mm -hmm. being controlled. Mm -hmm. For me, I like being socially aware of how aware I am with myself. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, again, what Q was saying, yo, sometimes I just need a few moments with myself. Mm -hmm. It is probably right to communicate that. But I, also, the smartphones are kind of like just taking away the grace as well. Yeah. Like, explain, damn. Explain that more. Grace in the sense of what? Grace in the sense of if I sent you a text message mm -hmm. and I can see that it says delivered mm -hmm. and I didn't get back to you, or if I called your phone and I can see that in my call log, mm -hmm. 
the grace is removed solely because that person was able to contact you and didn't get a response. Oh, and you know they've seen it. You see what, what I'm getting they, at? What if they got their red receipts? So how y'all feel about the they, red receipt? That's tough. Uh, I ain't going for them. Red, red, red at 437. It's 6 o'clock now. What's going on? How busy are you? Explain that. How much of a cool down do you need? <laughs> yeah, nah. And yeah. I want to salute all the you know, people that lead their shit on the red. Y'all are the real gangsters. That's tough. Y'all yeah, yeah. niggas are the real Rico members. Like, nah. I couldn't. I, them niggas is geese. Yeah, nah. I don't like that. I, I, I ain't into that. My but, red receipts is off. What? Off. You never know. If the I've fact that this. that's even an option is crazy. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. But again, I understand technology. Yeah. and i don't want to act as if like all right cool as the years are going on and technology is getting better that we mm -hmm. shouldn't utilize it for communication yeah. or for the betterment of ourselves yeah. for me it's just more like maybe we need to be more conscious mm -hmm. about how we're approaching the people in our lives the contacts the relationships yeah and, and and just not just social media just how the smart devices use it's so quick for like sure. you could do things on a smart device so yeah. quickly mad yeah. quick right it's kind of like taking our scope of communication oh, hell yeah and i think the only thing that could potentially yeah. do that to where like we realize like why or like value it to a different degree is if there was some type of brief outage like look at the pandemic mm. we were talking about certain mm. things during the pandemic during the pandemic were taken away from us Mm. And then we learn to like appreciate talking? it for a little bit more than what there was a Netflix movie. You know I can't I mean? tell you the name of it. Remember yes, that shit? Last that, of Us or something like yeah, 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 yeah. Leave it, leave it all behind or yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. one of those. Yeah, leave yeah, the world the behind with the deer on the, the corner. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Teslas were self driving. Yeah, 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 yeah but that, yeah, that's yeah. essentially what what yeah. some of that was, right? right. If right. technology fails, or if you can't get to it, what now, right? And I think that's important. Sometimes even like A brought this up the other day. We were yeah. kind of talking about he like, yo, DD is one of my favorite uh <laughs> features. One of my favorite features. He's like, yeah, I'll just D and D. And that's just like yeah. that helps me. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like it's no pressure. I don't have to keep looking at my phone. It's yeah. not vibrating anymore. It's almost yeah. like you're turning the technology off for a little bit and just like, yo, yeah, I need to chill. I need yeah. to chill. Yeah. And to to your point, I'm so glad you brought that up, bro. Yeah. Just for people out there who are looking for an out, right? And that don't mean do something traumatic, y'all. I'm sorry if it sounded like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me reel it back in. We love you. Don't, don't hang it up. Don't yeah, call it don't, don't, You good. God loves you. God, God loves you. You going to find another girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But to D&D's point, like before I started using D&D &D in my life, yeah. bro, I'm waking up to 20 Changed minutes. Changes life. Bro, Q, P, I'm waking up to 15 missed text messages, yeah. five missed calls. Three emails. And then, again, this is baby to the people that wake up and don't directly go into their phone. I was. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, I am, especially with what we do. Yeah. yeah. So I would wake up, open my phone, and just feel overwhelmed in the first four <laughs> seconds. Nah, I need to stop doing that. That's the wake first up. thing I do when I wake up. Real literally talk. swipe my phone and just like, it's messages there, it's emails. Mm -hmm. Then I go on Instagram, it's mad toxic opinions on there. Like, mm -hmm. I start my day with a LeBron debate every day. Like, this is, <laughs> this is not good. It's not no, good. Like, yeah. I, I start off my day with the energy of just like yeah. I'm upset already like already. I hate this person's opinion like yeah. why am I feeding myself other people's opinion on the wake up like, okay you just said that's it crazy. so now I gotta deal with a LeBron debate oh this so this person is <laughs> yeah. upset about something oh I gotta call this person back and it's like whoa I wanna do all of it because I love all of y'all right but man let me kinda get into my day first mm -hmm. and again that's giving me so much peace yeah. so yeah. for those of you out there that are kinda maybe looking for another way especially people in a bunch of group chats oh my god yeah. you got a D&D I, le I left one the other day I <laughs> for real? Yeah, it was a birthday invite. And yeah, the girl, right. shout out to my homie Alex. You know, you know, you know Alex. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, facts, facts, um, facts. She put everybody in a, in a joint, like, yo, right. my birthday's coming up. Uh, uh, and right. she puts in the joint, yo, please do not respond in this group <laughs> chat. Like, hit me separately. I'm you just putting y'all all here. Right. What do people do? Don't listen. Yo, I'm coming. <laughs> yo, I'm bringing my niece. I said, all right, by the third one. <laughs> Leave I conversation. Am. I'm out. I'm because out. what are y'all doing? People don't listen. You don't listen. People don't listen because, yeah. again, they just accustomed to doing things how they do it. Yeah. And, and I always say, too, on a technology point, yeah. never only rely on digital. Like, you need the analog. Oh, keep if, going. If the digital wipes out, some Y2K, whatever actually happens. Oh, you talking. Then you asked out. But if you, if you keep the analog, like, digital is like digital time and analog is like... Yep actual hands on the clock um with uh sprockets oh, you and stuff like that that control it like you know you'd be better off knowing both ways or like yeah digital uh radio you guys do radio yep right. back in the day right or you still have it but you could tune to the frequency or tune to the channel right um i want you to do me a favor real quick 
Mm-hmm. Go to your phones, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And go to your your text message. Pornography. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! What happened? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Soon as that nigga told me go on my phone, that nigga said pornography. Yo, hey, huh? yeah. hmm? wait till you get home, bro. No, no, yeah. we gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about yeah. this after this. Just say what you were saying, Pete. You see, you look hmm? a little nervous no, over there. Yeah. yeah, I'm scrambling. I'm gonna tell you why in a second. What you wanted us to do in the? F- <laughs> Yo, talk about timing, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. You heard it here first. Yeah. What happened? Uh, go, go to your messages. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's an is there a number there for you guys? Oh my god. Like how gosh. many messages we have yep. right now? Or your missed uh missed text, missed messages, missed yeah. texts. I got seven right now. You got seven. Just like fuck okay what about you be, alex what you we, got we need to be like you because i know what your shit look like <laughs> what, what, what you got? 268 missed text messages damn damn you want to know what mine is i'm scared because oh yeah this is gonna debunk all that bullshit you said about me damn let me hear it nah never mind no 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 let's, no, hear, let's, let's hear how many you missed <laughs> <laughs> how many you missed 747 <laughs> what <laughs> that gives me anxiety <laughs> you need to be arrested top left Ta- yeah <laughs> See, yeah, that's overwhelming. How do you know what's important and what's not? That's overwhelming. I don't know. That's I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's that's the deep I'm here, I'm here to learn. I'm here to learn. I'm here to learn. Yeah. Yeah. It's the deep Te- Teach me your nah, ways. But, not, but I'll, I'll do you a better one. Yeah, yeah. I'll go to my emails. Damn. Oh, my God. Y'all right. want to know my emails? Let me hear it, Q. Let's do a round robin. 16,488. That's light. That's light. That's, that's light. <laughs> 16,000? Yeah, 16,000. Damn. 18,814. Okay, so me and A in the same ballpark. <laughs> Damn. You, got, you got some more? 54,000. Yo, <laughs> <I>, 782. <laughs> you need to be put to a stop. Yeah, he needs. And look at his, yo, look at his missed calls. Let me see the missed call. 439. Yo, who is this guy? I got 860. Uh, oh! <laughs> Yo, that's insane. And, and a good my, majority of those are me. Huh? Like, my yeah. shit clean. <laughs> Maybe I'm paying too much attention to my phone. <laughs> it's pretty clean in here. Like, I'll be responding to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can nah, do that's it. Good. Yeah, I'll be you, there. That means you're a great communicator. That's good. That's yeah, good. Nah, that's good. And, good. and we're going to get better with communicating. <laughs> Curve uh, the niggas from now on. <laughs> we've been talking about communication. Yeah. And y'all made fun of uh, that little uh, sound bite y'all heard. Mm-hmm. But oh, you mean? Wait, not say it. What, what was the sound mm-hmm. about? I'm, I'm about to play. It. Just in case the people just I'm are about coming to, in now. Don't worry about it. I'm about to play it. Okay, but it kind of ties into a lot of our conversations here today. <laughs> Pornography. <Yeah. laughs> We're gonna have a lot of full circle. This is the full circle moment from today. Okay, the freaky ass. <laughs> not right, a six, I'm not a 69 not, guy. Don't do I'm about that. to change All the right. name of my phone mm-hmm. to fan. Mm-hmm. You a fan? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. You want to fight? <laughs> anyway, like I said, <laughs> yeah, these brothers are great. <laughs> We're going to bring this full circle. Okay. All right, bring us home. Right. We've had a lot of uh, talk today about communication and uh-huh. access, et cetera. And um, I just want to say that y'all used to make fun of niggas like me and Kevin Gates. Okay. I'm now good. I get it. I get it. I get the Kevin Gates hate. Any nigga that is purposely not trying to nut, <laughs> I get it. I get it. I understand. I understand where you could hear a nigga talk like that and go, yeah, okay, buddy. The fuck out of here. <laughs> I understand. I get it. Yeah. Shout out to my, um, this is, I'm pulling this from uh, 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 SD Men's Health. Watching pornography and masturbating all the time will eventually lead to erectile dysfunction. You see that? Too much sexual stimulation is not good. Too much stimulation. You're overloading the reward system in your brain that's causing dopamine, those happy mm. chemicals that's being secreted from the brain. And eventually, you will get desensitized Mm. to sexual stimulation. You hear that? So when you start cutting out porn and masturbation, you will see significant results. Now, Mm. Q. With the science. Pierre joins us on the main pod. Yep. Of course, you're our star here and we have more thoughts. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And on the main pod, I told Pierre a very long time ago and I told the rest of them. I'm like, hey, y'all. I don't even beat my shit no more. See it? Semen retention. Semen. <clears throat> see, it's different, right? Because back to Kevin Gates, right? Mm-hmm. His semen retention is a little different than mine. We're going to break down with okay. it. It's levels and shit, right? right? See, I'm the type, I don't want to touch my own shit. Not even to pee? So you sit down when you pee? No, nah, I ain't that freaky, nigga. So what I'm, you mean you don't want to touch it? Right, I'll touch it to pee. What are you I'll talking about? I'll touch, I'll touch it to pee. I'll touch it. I'm talking about- Where are you taking it? I'm talking about for secretion. <laughs> I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. When it's, when, <laughs> he said for secretion. Uh, right. It's a good word. That's an interesting way to put it. Yeah. Right. When it comes to secretion, I don't want to be the one to initiate that. <laughs> mm. I don't want to go about that no more. Okay. Right? Because I felt like, and I also don't watch porn anymore. Good. But porn be watching me because when I be on Twitter, <laughs> like. Yo, that shit just come up. <laughs> yeah, that shit just. I, I, how's this here? I, nah, Q, I don't know. Twitter's it's a just went from basketball place, to back shots to, <laughs> to back to some other shit. Like, <laughs> back to back. Like, like, how do we get here? Like, yeah. how do we get the algorithm here? Algorithm is right? all twisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I can avoid it, yeah. I don't watch porn. Okay. But I started to do that because like, yo, it would be times where I would like secrete by myself mm-hmm. and I just forget about the girl. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's that post night clarity. Yeah, but that, that that's when post night clarity worked oh, too well. I, I it's too well. And to his point, <laughs> you don't want to ting at all now. <laughs> you know, I ain't want no more. I was like, why well, ain't want it right now? <laughs> Good. That was just supposed to be like a little, yeah, I mean, a little appetizer. Get that off <laughs> yeah, nah. for the entree. That was it. You, uh, you good for two days now? I was good for three days after that shit when <laughs> I was yo. on that. Niggas start thinking about the pot again. Uh, <laughs> let's think of some more topics. Like, let me get some more shit to talk <laughs> yeah. about. Like I'm off that. Yeah. Like, I don't even want no box next to me. Yeah. No facts. So, so to his point, like it made me realize. W- Without his words, of course, that I was, I was gradually becoming desensitized, mm-hmm. and a lot of men I, I are out there. That I don't think they really understand that, right? Yeah. yeah. And it also comes with like when you're just having frequent masturbation, frequent images of women yeah. fucking or what you're imagining what you want to do to them. Too much stimulation. Way too much stimulation. And it made yeah. me think what he was saying. Like, damn, it's like a rush of dopamine, yeah. and. A rush of dopamine isn't well. Mm. Well, not long term, of course. Yeah, like yeah, in, yeah. in the moment, it's fine and everything yeah. like that. So, I guess I'm not asking you guys this, of course, because I don't want to know what you guys do with your chicken. Yeah, I thought you was about to ask Pete, do he secrete? <laughs> <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Listen, so P, <laughs> kick it over you. I, I'm, I'm married, so I, yeah. I secrete a lot. <laughs> I secrete. <laughs> okay, like he can yeah. handle it in a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. but is it? Is, I feel like this should be a part of men's health. For no, sure. I think it's important. Yeah, Dialing yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least on the masturbation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see what they're saying. And I heard this from women too, though. Because, you know, they got the rose now and everything like that. Yeah. And a lot of women were saying, like, yo, this shit is like, it's cooking me. It's taking me out <laughs> to the point that when I'm with a dude, they can't do what the rose they, does. They like, can't it's hold up. Bro. Biologically impossible, impossible for a nigga Damn. to do that, right? Yeah. So they run into some niggas like us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, my fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get like, my yeah. man PJ yeah, up like yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, me and Q. Nah, but look, I think. That is an important thing, right? right? With the release of dopamine and all of that. And it's just like, sometimes too for men, you see all the shit in the pornos and then you meet up with a joint and she can't do none of that. Yeah. All the shit that you was hoping oh, and wishing saying. for. Nigga, yeah. no, two positions. Two positions. <laughs> yeah, it's not, I was about to go into deep detail <laughs> on what I wanted done that wasn't happening, but it's not happening. It's not what I seen on Pornhub last night <laughs> yeah, yeah. at one thirty two in the morning. Like you're not doing none of these moves. Nah, yeah, yeah. None of that. It's right? not realistic so, a little so bit. now it's like like he said, like you find yourself not even stimulated mm. sometimes around because you didn't watch so much porn and in your mind you've got these twisted fantasies that yeah, yeah, yeah. in your mind, your to your body, it feels like you got off to this. Like, yeah, yeah I got off to this already. Yeah. Like why you can't do it. Yeah. So now the joint comes, she can't do it, and it's just like this shit ain't hitting the same. So you're yeah. better off. You might be better off just saving yourself mm-hmm. and just dealing with that human interaction. Yeah. And it yeah. might it might feel a little better. Yeah. They call Kevin it's, Gates crazy. Pete, what you saying? <clears throat> it's like the whole porn thing is kind of like a um it's it's per, it's perversion. Yeah, for sure. Cause like it's it's not it's not the real thing. And and Facts. like Q was saying, you lose the human interaction yep. between you and you know another another partner. Yeah. So I, I agree with that. Yeah, like, I agree with that. Maybe maybe you guys need to dial back a little bit. You know, if you guys spanking the chicken seven days a week, cut nah, down. That's this. insane. Cut d- <laughs> that's abuse. Q, you know, <laughs> that's abuse, that's dog. Abuse. <laughs> like you gotta chill. Being up, yeah. being a joint up. <clears throat> that's that's yeah. crazy. You know, it's men out there doing that though. Oh, right? for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, w- I was just reading that that <laughs> yeah. Lenny Kravitz said he's been mm. celibate for nine years. Ah, oh, like, fucking allegedly. Lenny. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. allegedly. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing. Yo, when you decide to go celibate, because mm-hmm. I've I've gone celibate before Same. For on nine, purpose for nine pur- for nine joints. No, nah, nah, I did it for nine. three three Almost. years. Yeah, when I was single, did it for three weeks. Three years. Three years. Yeah, that's yeah. tough. I purposely did it though, because I wanted to get a like being control of my urges. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Yeah, sure. as a man, as a man. Sure. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. it's honestly something I kind of on a for real for real tip. I really try to like the holes in my life, <laughs> like, like nigga. <laughs> 
Like <laughs> he letting it, he yeah, letting he, it he, off. He, he, he letting it go. <laughs> okay, like, continue. Like, like the whole niggas I know in my life. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, oh, oh, you talking about the women? Oh, them two. I thought, uh, nah, yeah, yeah nah. Nah, I thought you was talking about the roster. That oh, the roster? Going, yeah. yeah, nah, you know, not nah, me. Nah, 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 not the first letter in the alphabet, right? Uh-uh. <laughs> not A-I. He's not even really here right now. Yeah, technically not A-I. But the people that I know is hoes in my life who, you know, who are the same sex as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really try to offer this to them because at least when you get ahead of your urges, you'll at least do things that you actually want to be a part of mm-hmm. and not Facts. just like your penis controlling you mm, yeah. and not just urge and stimulation yeah. controlling you because those are probably some of the times I made my worst decisions. Oh, got some bad Cloud. bodies on there, boy. What? <laughs> what? He was like, yeah, bro. Like, why did I do that? <laughs> that you didn't, and I know women feel the exact, exact same way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what was I thinking? Nah, I was but really. she was in heat. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was in a dark place. <laughs> I was <laughs> nah, we can't nah, we don't we can't put that on Alex. I was in a dark place. Nah, we can't put that on. I was fucked up when I did it. Somebody I else said that. it then and I hated it. <laughs> Somebody else said that. Wait, did he? <laughs> did he? Oh, I wasn't in no dark place. Yeah, I was in a dark place. <laughs> Everywhere I'm at is light. Okay? Yeah. But um Speaking of light, yeah. My three year stint when I was single of uh celibacy and no choking the chicken. It was, it was uh it was for spiritual purposes. That uh around that time. That's when I got saved. Okay. Became oh, wow. a, a, a Christian. So yeah. teachings were showed with telling us that like, yo, dead pornograph uh pornography and anything pornographic. So I was like, bet. And yeah. I did it and like it strengthened everything around me. I couldn't agree more. I could see that. Like I my, my thoughts were clear. Um my interactions were more genuine and more pure, especially mm. um with the opposite sex. And like that's a real he's talking, he's talking, yeah. he's talking, he's talking, because talk, we've been talking about communication, right? Yep, yep, yep. I don't think there's there's so many horny men out there that don't yeah. realize that they're actually cool people. You yeah. can actually talk to this woman without trying to fuck her, right. <laughs> and, right? and yeah. it's possible. Like, like you can show your so, personality with this woman, and yeah. she's gonna like you the exact same way. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's it's it was so it's like I still I still feel that now because yeah. like my mind isn't in like you know trying to get stuff off with other women, right? Um. Like it's just so genuine. It's 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 mm-hmm. it's it's the most beautiful thing ever. I agree. And you know what I mean? I, so I'm let me shoot a little bell for us, man, real quick. Mm-hmm. I've actually Save told us. this. Come on, come on. Somebody got to. Somebody. Jesus ain't here yet. Yeah. I, I've <laughs> I've given the same. He I've here. Given, yeah, now he he always around yeah, yeah, yeah. us. You know what I'm saying? But well, you know he, he killed three. I mean, he, yeah. <laughs> we gotta do that little pray. He gonna he gonna appear. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. I mean, but yeah. this is some of the advice that I've given. Maybe like some of my homegirls. Like yeah. I just look at his sisters, right? Mm-hmm. Because. Women have estrogen, we have testosterone, yep. right? So vice versa, we both experience things that none of us can actually understand or feel. Mm-hmm. And I always say it, I'm like, women do such a good job of managing their urges as opposed to us. And I tell them a lot of the time, I'm like, y'all don't know what testosterone feel like. <laughs> you don't know that urge? <laughs> you don't know what I'm fighting right no, now? Like, no, I know, no thoughts. Like, yeah, like, I know, like, I know you mad as fuck at your boyfriend right now. He just fucked something. Mm-hmm. That don't look nothing like you. <laughs> I get it. You, you're getting sad. You're starting mm-hmm. to overthink. Yeah. But I promise you, testosterone, and you guys know, at its peak, Dang feels it. like this burning when urge. It's, when it's raging? <laughs> <laughs> like, when that shit is raging. I'm telling you, you have no thoughts. You like. have, and, and, and like, to Q's point, he brought it up earlier, like that yeah. post nut clarity. Yeah. You realize how soon, intense. As soon as it's done, you'd be as like, yo, this so, is. It's like, I done wasted $300 on dinner. I just did mad dumb shit. Like, I'm out here, it's two in the morning. It's not even safe for me to be in this neighborhood right now. It's not even safe for me to be I should be home watching yeah. Sports Center yeah. safe. Why am I here? I did all of this for a nut. For a nut. <laughs> like, bro, I'm looking like a dummy. Crazy. Right? Yeah. So I'm crazy. telling him, I'm like, listen, I promise you guys, you guys really don't understand how intense, and us too. Yeah. We realized how intense it is after we pass. Yep. And it was like, yeah. wow, I don't feel like that at all. Now, granted, I do know estrogen has some form of that, even though we haven't experienced it oh, per yeah, se. Yeah, yeah. I would love to hear like the what, 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 what the women is going to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to bring a baddie up here soon. Okay. Yeah. She's going to get into her, her, her shit. I've uh, already pre-planned it. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that? Yeah, he good. He good. That boy, I mean, it's us. That boy is good. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, yeah, j- just in men's health, because we we kind of talk about that from time to time. Yeah. I I do think it's some us as men should watch, mm-hmm. and you know, just so to your point that you brought up here, right? Yeah, yeah. Just communicating with women. Mm-hmm. I know there were some men out there who felt like 
they have no game. Yeah. But in actuality, it's not that they have no game, it's that they have overconsumption of pornography. Yeah. Facts. So what they believe women to be like intimately mm -hmm. through conversation, through speech, is very skewed. Yeah. Mm. You know? See yeah. what I'm getting at? Yeah. So I don't know, man. That 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 that's that's for you guys, for yeah. the men that are watching us out there. It's like <clears throat> a lot of times maybe we just gotta grow up because we've all like done stuff we want we aren't proud of and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. Having hearing stuff like this and like having conversations with like real people, real guys that, right that. that understand, like, yo, like it's tough out here for guys as equally as it is for women. Mm -hmm. But like, since I could only speak and we could only speak from the male perspective, like, all right, this is kind of how we should move from now on, kind of thing. It's our job to get rid of the incels. Yeah. No, that's true. Okay. Yeah, for you, sure. Those of you that don't know what incels are, that is involuntary, involuntary celibacy. Yeah. That's when you. <laughs> That's you that's really when, like you that, don't. That's that's when you you want to fuck this, but but you can't. So it make you act real weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a nasty place to be. It's in. a oh, nasty dude. place to be in, and I'm sure pornography is a, is a large reason why a lot of those folks act like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, man. Listen, you guys have been great here today. <laughs> it's been great. Facts. Honestly, was listen, a good y'all got anything else, man? Yeah, I just want to say, yeah. you got anything? Ah, uh, yeah. it feels good to be home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels good to be home. That's yeah. all I got. I didn't evict you. Okay. Yeah. And I just want to leave, leave off with a nice PSA. Yo, if, if you got real friends in your life, <laughs> pick up their calls every now and again. They don't have to be all the time, but every now and again. Just, just be there. And sometimes, <laughs> don't answer that shit. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> listen y'all, this has been We Have More Thoughts. Okay. Where A, Q, and P. Yeah. All right. A place where we share a collection of thoughts. They don't get the enough time or appreciation that they should. Um, appreciate you guys for stopping by. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. All that. A lot more new content on the way, right, fellas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't uh, wait. All right, it's we are fully locked. For us. Ooh, gonna be a just, just a good year in general. Good year. It's gonna yeah. be a good year in I general. Feel it. You feel me? I feel it. All right, y'all. Signing out. Peace. See ya.